Hello everyone, so what I'm going to show you right now is just how and kind of where to put the Ever Media Live Gamer HD once you open up your computer. So I just took you off the side panel, you can see it right there with this large fan. So we just look over here into the main motherboard. So we have, here's just a CPU, a graphics card, so these are uh, X16 lane, another X16 lane, these are two 8 lanes. And this is another, uh, this is a 4 lane, X4. So this is a mini PCIe port. You can kind of see it. Uh, kind of a little bit. It only extends to about here. Uh, and this is where I put in the, the card. So you just stick it in firmly. Once you take off the, the side, just so that the bracket actually shows out, then just screw it back in. And that's it for the card. It's quite easy. And then on this side you can just see some of the, the outputs. Just to kind of show you what I have here beforehand, I, before I show you the real setup. So this HDMI cable is coming out of the output of the Avermedia. Right here, this is the input. And then this is the input for the audio. If you follow this three and a half cable all the way around, you can see it. It comes out of my audio output port from my motherboard. So it's important to have audio come from your computer, plug it in, and then from here it'll go through the HDMI to my uh, computer speakers, which will be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to start plugging everything in, and then what I'll actually show you is the full setup of how I run my own cables, splitters, switches to be able to s capture, stream, and play my Xbox and computer. Hey you. Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you how I have the new capture card that I did in the unboxing earlier hooked up and how I'm going to be able to stream and capture the PC and the Xbox all on the computer without having to switch any of the cables. So we just head over here, the unit. So basically I have the Xbox right now. Is This is a splitter, this box right here. So the Xbox goes in here, and I have two outputs. This one outputs to the TV over, over there. And then this one is a 20 foot, 24 foot long HDMI cable that kind of loops and it actually runs all the way around here in the back behind the couch up here into the next piece of equipment which is right underneath the speaker which is the switch so what this switch I'll kind of show you in the back cables are a little messy I haven't cleaned them all up yet so this is the feed from the Xbox it goes into the switch and now this HDMI cable actually you can't really see it there behind my computer is here which is my output for my graphics card so I got my graphics card going out into here same with the Xbox so the Xbox splitter splits the signal so it shows up on my TV and it'll go all the way around here to my switch now with this handy little dandy little remote over here I can toggle between the two sources, so one is my PC and two is my Xbox, and switch between the two sources. Now, the magic happens. Now, this will take the two inputs, and it goes into the one output. This is the black cable. Now, if you, you can't really see it, see it because this is just a mess because it's covered. Uh, but the black output of this switch goes into the input back here of my Avermedia Live Gamer capture card. You now this is also the audio which is ripped from my graphics card. Uh, now this one is the output from the capture card which is then connected to this monitor. This is my second monitor that I'll be soon replacing as you can see as I'm shopping. Um, so basically how it works is I'll have the Xbox feed to the TV 
through the switch, if I have it turned on the Xbox, the Xbox will show up here. There's no lag, uh, latency, there's no lag between actually the TV and the Xbox and working on the controller to actually what shows up on the monitor. It's handy because I can look here and just game and also if I have other friends on uh, I can they can still be playing on the TV. And then this one is my full working screen while this is my Xbox. And when it switches, when I switch from 2 to 1 on the switch, it then goes up to my computer and then I can capture what's actually happening on my computer. And then this is a a live button that turns the program on and off. Looks kind of cool. As you can see, it pop up right there. So I'll do another video, kind of walk through the software that I use and kind of review the Rec Central. And that's how I have it set up. So I can stream and capture my Xbox while playing it onto my computer and also capture and stream my computer screen as well. And we don't need that either. So the card itself is just right here. It's a PCIe Express. Uh, you will need an 